G'day folks. I've uh, got this little 2010 Honda Civic here for an emergency uh, service. Um, due to cash shortages this one's been neglected a little bit. It's probably about 50,000 overdue on its uh, oil change which is not particularly good especially for a uh, engine with such close tolerances as the VTEC Honda engines. Um, so yeah it's here for an emergency uh, little quickie oil change and filter for starters. Um, air cleaner because the old one is just cactus. That's nasty. That's after I tried to blow all the dust out, but it's not. It's just oil vapor and stuff probably from the, the breather. Um, yeah, she's overdue. Just thought I'd quickly uh, spin the filter to see if I could get it off and yeah, it took a bit of effort. <laughs> That's uh, like a foot and a half pipe wrench. But she's free now. But it's well and truly hardened on there. At least it was more accessible than I thought. When Julian said it was recessed, I was thinking like Subaru burning ring of fire kind of recessed. They have a sort of a hole going through these exhaust pipes and heat shield and the filter's probably about that far up inside on the back of the engine. So uh, yeah, it's not quite as bad as the Subaru's uh, burning ring of fire, which is not fun, especially if the cars come in for a quick oil change and everything's still roasting hot. Um, everything else looks all right, I mean, that was I think, top up spill, that's nothing. Um, although it is coming out from under. No, no, that's only something. I'll have a look at it. The services were supposed to get is about $500 or more, and they do the valve, check the valve clearances and things and everything. I can't do that, but I can at least keep it happy with some good oil and a new filter and new air cleaner. It's not original, it's aftermarket, Ryko, but there. Oh, sorry, not Ryko, it's something else similar. Same manufacturer, essentially. Yeah. Not a bad car. I haven't driven it properly yet, but... Yeah. It's a modern car. You get what you get. It's an interesting engine mount setup. There's like a torsion, torque arm there and a um, compression mount there. I'm guessing there's nothing down the front here to uh, stop it, so it's got a torque arm coming off here. And probably one on that side, and that's about it. Yeah, a lot of modern stuff, but at the end of the day, the core of the engine's still the same. It's still a twin cam um, engine. At least I think there's only one uh, seal at the back there. They'd have to be twin cam. It'd be silly not to. Coil on plug ignition, as usual, EFI. Um, the exhaust comes into one on the uh, cylinder head itself. It doesn't actually have a set of uh, individual pipes. And everything's just, yeah, compact. Pretty standard. That looks like uh, EGR. Given the tubing and where it's going. Yeah, it's going down to the uh, exhaust. So that's EGR modulator and EGR. Yeah. Anyway, I guess I better get my, uh, empty my drain pan again and uh, drain this one. Because I just did the Mazda on Saturday night and that's all happy. It's going for roadworthy on, well, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning I'll drop that off. Get a roadworthy on that one. And, um, yeah, that one's basically sold. So, get this out of the way. Then I'll get Betty sorted and ready for sale. And then we'll have room in the garage for another one. Something different this time. The oil's not heinous, but it's there's not much of it. Even the inspection camera showed under the head or inside the uh, valve trains. Actually, it's not gooped up. It hasn't gone to sludge, which is good. If it had gone to sludge, this engine would probably be seized by now. But it's just at that point you don't really want to be driving it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. This is just what followed the filter out. And, uh, yeah, chocolate sauce. I generally don't like oil to get like this, but at least it's not carbon black. And, well, there's no sludge in the top end. So the oil was still being oil. I'd just say that filter was so old that it's been in bypass the whole time. Because when a filter gets so plugged up, they've got a little relief valve in there that'll open up and uh, allow oil to keep getting to the engine. It won't starve your engine of oil and kill it, but it's not filtered oil. So hopefully it hasn't done it, but I'd be willing to bet that it's uh, it's been running in bypass. There's no way to tell for sure, but, but yeah, I'll, I'll open that filter up and we'll have a look at what the uh, element looks like. 
I won't grind it open like some people do because that just throws metal shavings in there. I'll uh, drain it as best I can and part it off in the lathe. Anyway, let's, uh, well, I'll get the filter out and draining somewhere else and I'll uh, dump the rest of the, the crankcase. It's only going to look like more of that. Yummy. Yeah, there we go. I've dumped the bulk of the oil. The scratches in the tub are making these little pock marks, so don't worry about them. I haven't actually found anything that's uh, gritty or nasty, which is good. But it's just very heavy with contaminants, so yeah, I'll be doing a couple of quick changes on this. Starting with the first one and then dump it shortly afterwards. I'll try and get the car in for a uh, just a Saturday, quickly spin the filter off and uh, refill it with new oil um, in a few weeks time, something like that. I won't do it straight away, I mean I could drive for the rest of the week but yeah, I've let it drain for quite a while. It's been about an hour or so and uh, yeah, not good. <laughs> At least the top end isn't like carboned up or anything like that so we should be right. Alright, all good and double checked. Oil's filled. Not quite a hundred percent, I'll top it up after a quick run. It's just sort of halfway up the stick, uh, particularly being at an angle. Stop beeping. Beep, beep, beep. The thing beeps more than an R2 unit. But I do kind of like the uh, LED scheme, and you can uh, yeah, you turn that down. PWM controlled so you can actually change the brightness smoothly. Beautiful, oil light's gone out straight away because I pre-filled the filter. I just kept dri dribbling oil in there and pre-filling the filter and uh, let it take it up and yeah, it, the oil light doesn't stay on anywhere near as long. Of course if the oil filter goes on upside down, well <laughs> you don't want to be pre-filling it because you'll end up with a mess everywhere. That's where you just got to put up with it, but if the filter goes on underneath, I always fill as much as I can, then carefully spin it on. Off. It's fan off. This always runs the AC for dehumidification, I think, but... Yeah. Controls are kind of cool. Tune, folder, search, it's got MP3 and everything. Looks good, sounds good. Looks good. You just do the usual check just in case. But yeah, just double check the filter's on tight, everything's right. Caps, that's in. New air cleaner's in. Now that's the ECU I worked out, the ECU's there, fuse box. Everything's right here. Again, standard modern car. All I can hear is the injectors firing off, that's what the ticking sound is. The valve train on this is very quiet. You just hear a tick, tick, tick from the uh, mechanical, uh, well not mechanical, but solenoid fired injectors. It's the one thing that doesn't seem to change with uh, modern cars is you always hear the injectors tick. Oh, I'll pop the hood down and we'll move it back a bit, level out and then uh, do an oil check. sticker says the coolant's good for 200,000 k's. <laughs> uh, I'll believe that when I see it, but I'm not going to touch it. It's only done 100,000. I'll just recommend it in the next year or so.
will do for now. You noticed I went into uh, reverse just as I hit, or sorry, I went into neutral just as I hit the edge. Uh, a lot of these cars have that much idle torque, they'll try and kick that out and flick it up. Uh, I don't like it's too hard to get normal ramps under a car like this, too low. Um, so I just sort of improvise. <laughs> Cheap and dirty, but I'll uh, eventually I'll clean them up and make some proper uh, wooden block ramps. They're just handy. It's sort of in between jacking the car up and putting it on stands and putting it on the high ramps, but the high ramps just don't clear these bumpers, which kind of sucks because it's a lot better than using uh, timber blocks, but anyway. They work. Let's sort of settle down and open this filter up. Made in Thailand, I think. So anything I replace it with is going to be just as good. Well, Ryko. I'm always using Ryko filters or Repco for cheaper cars. I, I use Repco on my uh, RAV4s and they're fine. But I change my oil every three to four thousand k's tops. Um, the Honda service is twelve thousand, and that's too high on any vehicle in my honest opinion. Well, when the lathe won't quite grip it without dropping a drawer out, eh, hacksaw. I didn't want to, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to let that drain for a bit, and uh, yeah, i just cut right around the seam there. So there'll be a bit of shit in it from that, but I want to see how collapsed it is. I'd be willing to bet it's been going out on bypass. What the? Under attack. Giant moths. <laughs> okay, well, we've got it apart. The pleats were uh, still in pretty giant moth again. Don't go for the oil. Um, the j pleats are actually uh, pretty solid. They're not collapsing and breaking up. Uh, no idea if the bypass has been working, but there is a little patch of um, like residue in the bottom there. I imagine that would have gone through the bypass valve in the center there if it was doing, if it was bypassing, because uh, that little sheet metal thing there went over the back of it, and uh, yeah, if there was flow going through there, it would have cleaned all this sludge and crap out of the bottom of it, and uh, put that through the engine, so it doesn't look like it's been bypassing any, if maybe much oil. Um, it's definitely dirty, I mean, what I have cleaned out of the pleats is uh, definitely laden in dirt, but there's no um, there's no metallic debris coming out of it. It's not very nice stuff, but it's uh, it doesn't have metal in it, at least not more than the occasional tiny bit, which might be from me cutting it open. Eh, it, it's good enough. It's just horribly old oil, so... Good, this engine will be, uh, it'll be okay, it's not making horrible noises, but yeah, it just goes to show you can sometimes get away with uh, neglecting them for a while, or a long while. But yeah, that's oil out of the, uh, the dirty side, and it's just got chunks in it. So that, that filter's plugged. I'd be surprised if it wasn't bypassing, but if it was, it probably wasn't much, because it hasn't cleaned the, uh, hasn't cleaned the sediment out of the bottom of the canister so that'll do I'll leave the rest of that to drain and then uh, put that in the waste oil drum tomorrow anyway um, little car seems pretty happy so that's about all for now oil levels checked done done and dusted I'll uh, just test drive it tomorrow thanks for watching